on having you back to our channel. Yes, this time around we'll be going into one of the African special delicacy, which is also known as African soup. And we'll be doing how to prepare this special delicacy. Yes, in case you're joining us, yes, this is a, this is a family of collaboration. This is a family where we come together and then we we'll make special delicacy to you know, you know. Let me leave the rest. So, um, so in case you're joining us to our channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and also give a thumbs up to this video. And if you have any comment, just leave it at the comment section below. So today's episode, just as as we say, we'll be looking into how to prepare authentic Nigeria Africa Alpine soup. You know the bottom pot Alpine soup. This is what we'll be preparing actually. The Nigeria cuisine is varied as its people, you know, with a, each region boosting your name, such as some flavor, you know, as you all know. And African soup, you know, this African soup, which is also known as, you know, African soup is no exception. As nominous to the ethnic, ethnic groups in southern Nigeria, the dish is a traditional made with water leaves and okazi, and it has a rich earthly flavor that will make you beg as in beg for more <laughs> yes and you can't get bored of nigerian vegetable soup because there's always a new one for each week and that is what we'll be doing every time because there's the, we were going to load us with different kind of new african delicacy which will help you to you know change your kind of soup change your kind of production of soup and you know give you a very healthy you know a healthy a healthy lifestyle so this alpine soup per se recipe recipe is one of the vegetable soup made with alpine glue assorted meat and flavors uh, smoke and you know with dry fish that you have a whole family begging for more and think you have no left over to relish the next day and it is best enjoyed with nigerian swallow food such as uh, we have the fufu we have the egg bar we also have the pounded yam and any children of your choice. What is up and soup? You know, many will be hearing up and soup, up and soup, up and soup. Okay, for those that don't know what up and soup is, it's a popular vegetable soup from southern, um, from the south Nigeria among the ethnic people of Cross River State and also the Ibibu people of Akwa Ibom State. Okay, so for those that don't know actually what up and soup is, this is also an enlightenment for you. So our soup is a very is, is very similar to um to to it's very similar to a dikai corn soup solely based on the similarities in preparing them. However, you know we'll be doing also a dikai corn soup in our next um, episode, and you will see the similarities these two soup actually are having. Um, so however, the different vegetables are used to differentiate their taste. So, um, apple soup is usually served at home, restaurants, and ceremonies in the southern part of Nigeria. And it's also known as a, you know, um, Kamer you know, Cameroonian, Cameroonian um, dish because some parts of the Cameroon, you know, bordering Coast River State, also enjoy this deli delicious um, soup. So, why? The question is okay why why you will love this apple soup there's a reason you know there are so many reasons why you have to you just need to you just how to love this apple soup the combination of vegetable protein and the spices in apple soup make this dish a hit among families and friends and also that is one of the points we were, we were talking about the tasty the tasty of it tastiness of it so this also calls for you know and also diet friendly and also budget friendly so for those that have not tested the soup before or the questions that i've seen before they say how does this soup taste like how does this soup taste like i just want to have a taste of it yeah what does avant soup taste like here yes, this is a question going on right now and i would like to tell us that avant soup actually has a slightly bitter taste caused by a the um, chlorophyll you know content in the afang and the okazi leaf so all sorry all the okazi leaf in Igbo language is called okazi in um, Ibibio. Ibibio, um is called afang 
So there's two different things. That, the same thing, but um, different pronunciations in different tribes. Yes, it tastes a slight bitter. So in case you don't have a taste of it, please rush to your restaurant or rush to the market and make those special delicacies for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. See you another in our next episode for a great, great, great package. Hoping to see you. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share this video. Bye.